Blessed always, blessed always, for the arms of God surround us. Let our lives be so triumphant that we rest in Blessed always, blessed always, for the arms of God surround us. Let our lives be so triumphant that we raise. Heart beats faster. 
for old friends who know more about me than I may know about myself, and for budding relationships filled with promise. My loved ones teach me about divine love. I am living thanksgiving for my growing spiritual awareness, for the light of God that is my divine identity. Thankful that I am one with the source of all goodness, God, and for divine qualities such as love, life, wisdom, and strength that I am learning to express every day. Unity co-founder Charles Fillmore advised, praise and thanksgiving impart the quickening spiritual power that produces growth and increase in all things. As the swift and subtle shifts of late autumn clear tree and field, my thoughts of appreciation open a clear space in my heart for more, more reasons for living thanksgiving. Or ushers will bring 
if you'll hold your hand up, if you don't have one and you want one, thank you, Freddie. So what I'd like for us to do this morning is just spend a few moments expressing our gratitude. Think about what you're most grateful for in your life. You know, we've been talking a lot over the last few weeks about our third basic unity principle, which is... <laughs> Thank you. You're all just blissed out on gratitude. You're like, oh, the third principle. Yeah. Thought plus feeling equals outcome. And there's nothing like that feeling and gratitude to really give some rocket-powered fuel to our thoughts, to our affirmations, to our intentions. It's the feeling that's in the gas of the car of our prayers, yes? And so let's spend a few moments just experiencing a little more gratitude. Think about what you're most grateful for. If you, if you need to do the exercise again for a minute where you put your hand on your heart and breathe in, you know, I'm just curious to know how many have been using some of the tools that we've been teaching over the last few weeks. Because this one of putting my hand on my heart and breathing deeply and thinking about gratitude or a person or experience that made me feel really good really came in handy last night right before I went into Target. <laughs> So at our first service, we do what's called our sacred walk of abundance. And if anybody's ever been to the first service, when we do the love offering, instead of passing the bowls around, we ask everybody to come forward and to put their love offering in the bowl on the table. And we usually have the prayer box, uh, if you wanted to put a prayer box, a prayer request in. And then we have a little bowl to take affirmation. So that's become a unity tradition at Savannah. We've been doing that for a number of years now. And you know, we always do our burning bowl ceremony the last Sunday of the year. It's on December 31st this year. We're going to have one service at 1030 on New Year's Eve day. We're going to do our burning bowl. Kyle is going to lead a burning bowl. So you release the past. It's a unity tradition. Lots of unity churches do it every year. So I wanted to start a new unity tradition this year with the help of my little friend that I got at Target last night. <laughs> now, I was looking for a turkey, but I think all the turkeys either got gobbled up or they ran off because they, they were the out of turkeys last night, even though this young man and I looked all over the store trying to find one. So I... I liked him a lot. I don't really know exactly what this is. <laughs> this is our thoughts. A fox. This is a fox. Somebody said a bear, a badger. I think it's kind of like I think it's kind of like me. It's kind of cute, but y'all really haven't figured. It out. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good symbol, but I call it Fillmore after our founders, right? Fillmore. So he's going to help us with our first annual sacred toss of gratitude this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw Fillmore out into the crowd, be nice to him. He's pretty tough, though. He's got Georgia football colors on this. <laughs> Pretty tough guy. So if you catch Fillmore, then you're invited to stand and share what you're grateful for, what's on your gratitude list this morning. And Freddie is going to help us because he's going to run the mic. Yes? Oh, yes? Do you have it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that might be something you might want to come up here and get then. Thank you, Freddie. I've got it muted back here. 
Okay, well go ahead and turn it on, John. So if you get Fillmore and you don't want to share, that's okay. Just give them to somebody else or throw them across the room or something. He's, he's a forgiving little critter. So does everybody get what we're doing? And we'll do this for a few minutes, and then when we're done, you can throw them back up here. Okay. So I'm going to be like a bride. <laughs> Stand up, please. I am thankful for my spiritual practice. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Fillmore. Uh, I'm going to read my whole list to you. Go ahead. Um, I am grateful for. I can't read it without my glasses. <laughs> Um, for my health and for my spirit.
I've come to know God more. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my church. I'm grateful for the 12 step programs. I'm grateful for my friends, my family. I'm grateful for my mentors. My mentors are Reverend Dale, Reverend Butterworth, Reverend Mary Tompkin, Reverend Johnny Coleman, and Reverend Bessie. Thank you. Thank you. I am grateful for my position here at Unity. And I am so grateful for all of y'all in here. And I'm grateful for the words of truth that we hear every Sunday. It's so wonderful to have a place to go where you're spiritually fed every week. It's beautiful. All the love that I receive here, I am just in a constant state of gratitude. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do three more. Three more. Three more tosses. Okay. All right. So. Go along. <laughs> This is truly a fox. <laughs> we have fox out at the Old Road Christian, and that's probably one of the things I'm most thankful for is the Old Road Christian because Pegasus Riding Academy and all of our special needs children have a home, and we didn't know it for a while. And I'm thankful for you all and for being healthy. <laughs> Church. I'm grateful for 12 Step. I'm grateful for our shelter, our beautiful home. I'm grateful for TAG and this tool of our two wonderful pets. I'm grateful for our health and our friends. Thank you. Thank you. One more. <laughs> I'm thankful for Unity of Savannah where I can Feel free to be me, uninhibited, yeah. and dancing wildly whenever I feel like it. Yeah. I'm grateful to A Course of Miracles to show me the light of my true oneness with God. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Freddie, for being willing to run the mic. You're welcome. Thank you. So is there anybody else? It's just dying to share before we stop. Anybody? Okay. Well, I'm grateful for y'all. I'm grateful that I am living the dream. I've been thinking about this a lot this week. I have everything that I've ever wanted. Like, sometimes I don't know what to do because I've worked so hard at trying to get something, and I have it all now. Like, okay, I guess it's time to start giving back even more. Right? as much as I can because I want everybody to be transformed by this teaching. It changed my whole life. Between 12 Step and Unity, I'm a different person than I used to be and I'm so grateful and I'm grateful to be here with all y'all. All y'all. Oh, like yeah. yeah. So now remember what we talked about how whatever you focus on, you get more of it. Yeah. So what we do, this this box is not a magic box. Okay? This represents the consciousness of our church. So we're going to do our sacred walk of abundance this morning, like we did at the first service. So I'm going to ask you to come forward and to put your gratitude list in this box, knowing that as we focus our consciousness on the things that you've written on your list, you're going to get more of that. Yes? We pray for 30 days over that. And then we're going to sit at the silent unity and they're going to pray with us for another 30 days. I can't wait to see what's happening in 2018. Because we're going to be prayed up, doubly blessed. Yes? Is anybody with me on that? Yeah. Okay. So when you come forward, if you feel blessed and you want to give back, because remember, giving and receiving.
receiving or what? The same, the same thing. It's the same energy. And so sometimes if I'm feeling poor, I just start giving money away. <laughs> I always have dollars in my pocket when I go downtown in case somebody asks me for something. So I have something to give out. So if you want to give that to your spiritual community this morning, when you come forward, you can put your offering in one of these bowls and bless the bowl. Now we know that some, sometimes I give online or I send a check. Please come up anyway and bless the bowls. And then we usually give out affirmations at our first service to remind you that as you give, you receive in that moment. It's not something you have to wait for. It's the energy. You get it right then. So as a symbol of that, this morning, we have these books for you. Advent starts next Sunday, December 3rd. And this is a little book that you can use that has a reading for every day of Advent. So you can take this home and use it in the morning during your prayer time. And we can all do this Advent journey together. And we also, these are free, take one. I have just about enough of, for one for everybody. So take one, and if there's some left over, then we'll give those out later. Now these, we have a ton of these. Take as many as you want. Give these away. This is Gratitude Changes Everything. It's a little book about gratitude. And if you're feeling ungrateful, just get this book out and read a little stories in it. It'll make you feel better. Yes? So, I'm going to ask you to come up the center aisle to put your gratitude list in the prayer box, to put your money in the bowl, and to get one of these books. And we're going to be singing while you guys are doing that. And also, I have Pinky in one corner, and who's your partner for this service for the other corner? Freddie? Fred. Freddie, will you come and give hugs in the other corner? Yes. <laughs> hugs and love. So they'll be giving out hugs and love. This is hugs and this is love. And we'll be singing. And so we'll come up the middle aisle and go down the outside aisles. So as you're led, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, that's okay. I don't have a book. I'm not working your name down. But if you feel led, go ahead and come up the center aisle and take your walk, your sacred walk of the bed. Thank you.